I've been doing this work for almost three decades. It's refined and refined and refined. But what I notice is that the thirst and the hunger for bringing through our feminine power is greater than it ever has been. And why that's amazing and incredibly encouraging is it just happens to be at the con con confluence of a time where our world needs what we have hardwired into us as women more than ever. So we're at, we're at this amazing time as women that we've never been at before. You know, we're at this, in the center of a vast, unprecedented, historic social science experiment as women. We've never had this kind of, you know, globally, access to literacy, education, access to economic well-being, access to our own power that we've ever had before. And so that gives us, it, there's a certain advantage to that, and there's also a certain challenge to that, because with all of that comes responsibility and also choices. So, you know, we've got all this new stuff. Plus, there's nobody that really went through it before, like us. So there's nobody we can, like, look up a book and say, well, what do we do now? Which way do I go? Which, what should I say or do? Or, you know. So that's hitting this time when it is really a fact that our innate gifts, and mostly our feminine wisdom, our bodily wisdom, our wisdom to know what is a yes and a no, and, of course, things like collaboration, you know, all the things that women do naturally are a competitive advantage in our world. They're now sought after. If you know John Gerzema, he's wonderful. He's one of our speakers for our Women's Evolutionary Leadership, just wrote the book The Athena Doctrine. It documents 64,000 interviews where it over and over and over and over again, it states that people all over the world are really needing what it is that we're now hungry for, you and I. And the key to it is authenticity. Really, the key to it that he sees is that what people are seeking out in leaders is a, a trust in that they know to be led by their wisdom. So there's that authenticity that people are seeking. Because when you're real, that's where your power shines. That's what's irresistible about you. Your authenticity, your genuine. But we've, been, we've trained it out of ourselves. We've trained ourselves to, because of our ego and the layers of our ego, which will be unveiling. It te we tend to have layered on thinking that we have to be someone that we're not or be more like someone we thought we should be or whatever. And so it's, this process is about unlayering those layers of the ego and, and those layers of smallness that we try to put on ourselves to reveal... I'm going to say something here that's going to sound a little woo-woo, but I'm going, to I'm going to say it to you. It's the presence of love. Because who you are at your essence is the presence of love. And why that's, it sounds woo-woo, I don't mean romantic love. I mean that impulse in each of us to bring the good, the true, and the beautiful forward. To bring more of positivity. To bring something new. To take things to the next level. Why it is true that we feel fulfilled when we find our gifts is that that's the most refined version of love. Your unique version of it. Like when you, when you, you know, treat people, when you serve people in the way that you do, you feel this like high, right? And when you're not connected to your gifts, you're miserable because then the mind can have its way with you. But it's really about love. So I just wanted to just give you that quick overview that we'll be, we'll be evolving you from having identified for as long as we have with the ego to identifying more with the truth of who you are, your real, genuine love self. <laughs>